What time is it? It's hang time. Welcome to the second episode of Hang Time, a Star Wars poster collecting segment. I'm your host, Andy, of the Hall of Chronicles. Today, we are looking at probably the most popular, most well-known, most famous Star Wars poster of all time. The Tom Jung artist-created 1977 Style A one-sheet theatrical poster. Now, when you think Star Wars movie poster, everybody has a poster that comes to mind. And my bet is that for most people, this is the one that strikes a a chord with people. This baby came out when the movie came out, and if you can get yourself a nice original one, you'll have a treasured piece of poster memorabilia. Let's take a look at some of the unique characteristics, some of the ways to detect uh, bootlegs, and some of the maybe lesser known facts about this poster right now. Princess Leia is holding a very Han Solo-like DL-44 blaster. When newspapers ran the advertisement for Star Wars, They covered up one of Leia's thighs, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. Luke is wearing what we now know are Vader's boots, or at least his shin guards. And finally, the droids were not originally in the first print of this masterpiece, but upon seeing a Hildebrandt Brothers version of the Star Wars poster, George Lucas thought it would be prudent to add them. So Nick Candy added them in, because Tom Jung was not available. The size of the poster plays a key role into whether or not you've got yourself an original one. These posters typically came folded, although there are a few rare uh, rolled examples but be very careful with those. This came in the, in the typical theatrical release size of 27 inches by 41. If you happen to find yourself a 24 by 36, not original. If you happen to find yourself a 27 by 40, you're close, but it's not original. The size absolutely matters in this case. One thing that you'll notice about mine is that it is not a 27 inch by 41 inch theatrical release size. This is not a 1977 original. However, this poster right here, uh, more on the half sheet size, a 20 inch by 28 inch, this is considered an original movie poster, even though it's a reprint of the 1977. And you might be thinking, hmm, Why is that? That seems to contradict what you were just telling me about original movie poster sizes. Well, let me tell you, you're getting a two for one today. Even though this poster is one image, it's been used a couple of different times. In fact, this poster was a theatrical release for Star Wars in 1982. 1982, Empire Strikes Back had already come out by then. Well, In 1982, believe it or not, not every movie theater had gotten Star Wars into, you know, they they hadn't played it yet. And so Star Wars was still coming out in places across the United States, even as late as 1982, for the very first time. So yes, Empire Strikes Back had come out, and they were almost to Return of the Jedi when some movie theaters were just getting Star Wars for the first time which is pretty crazy. That's the poster that they got sent in 1982. It wasn't the big boy. It wasn't the 27 by 41. It was the 20 by 28 version. The nice thing about this poster is that it's 
maybe around a couple hundred bucks, all right? It is not commanding the same kind of prices that the 1977 versions are, are commanding. And it looks exactly like the 1977 version does. In fact, you can see the artist's signature right here. Now, there was a 27 inch by 40, 41 inch um, poster like this that was released through the fan club, but it had what is known as the hairy belt. And we'll show you that in just a minute, which makes it actually any copy of this poster that has the hairy belt is uh is, is a non-original so here's what the hairy belt looks like close up it's very subtle the hairy belt is a thin little hair that got copied over on a reprint and starts at the belt and runs down toward luke's leg as if it weren't complicated enough, there is actually a 27 inch by 41 inch, which makes it the correct size, but a cardstock version of this poster, which causes a lot of confusion in the poster collecting world, especially for new poster collectors. That was released in the 80s for video stores when they got, you know, VHSs were becoming popular and you could rent those. So if you have yourself a cardstock version that is the correct size, it's not an original. It's very cool. And it does have some collectability, but it, it will not command the high prices. That's probably anywhere from maybe a hundred to $200 version of that poster, which still is cool. And it still is, you know, a 45 year old poster. The bottom right hand side of the poster gives you the NSS number and the most knowledgeable poster collectors have, have, have come to the conclusion that those that have the NSS number of 77 slash 21 hyphen zero to be the original first release version of that poster. And it will command in the thousands of dollars if you can find one. Um, especially if it's rolled. If it's rolled and has that original NSS number, then we're talking like three to $5,000 uh, if it's in good shape. Now, it will also have a few other versions of that NSS number and Star Wars script underneath it. And here's a picture to show you a few examples. These are all considered original, but it's like first print, second print, third print, etc. Um, still valuable, still highly collectible, but that dash zero is the one that uh, everybody kind of agrees upon as being the first pressing. Where do you rank the Style A Tom Jung movie poster among the Star Wars movie posters? Is it your favorite or do you have another one that's yours? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, this has been... Hang time.